Hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Today we are going to try to solve Zipper Gramophone by Flash Groudon. Oh, wait. Does it say Flash or Flask? I think it says Flash. Uh, the, the font's a little hard to read for me, at least. <clears throat> anyway, let's take a look at it. Looks interesting. Got a lot of lines we can deal with here. So we've got normal Sudoku rule supply. Every row, every column, every 3x3 three three box contains digits 1 through 9 once each. So we have zipper lines. So the zipper lines, which are the lavender lines, digits in equal distance from the center of a lavender zipper line must sum to the digit in the middle of that line. So they're already shown along these lavender lines. What is the middle digit? So all it means is whatever this digit is, these two digits must add up to it. These two digits must add up to it. Same goes here. Those, those all must add up to whatever that middle digit is. Renban lines, which are the pink or magenta lines. Digits on a pink Renban line must form a non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. So this could be like one, two, three, or something along those lines. They just have to be consecutive, but they don't have to necessarily be in order. And then we have parity lines, which are the which is the peach line here. Uh, digits along a peach parity line must alternate between odd and even. So if this is even, this is, has to be odd, then back to even, odd, even, odd, like that. And those are our rules. So let's get into it and see what comes. Okay, good place to start on this would be what? I think down here looks pretty promising. So we've got four different ways to make one number. There's only one way that works. It has to be a nine. Now, there's three different ways to make this number. So it could be, what is seven? Does seven work? Yeah, five, two, four, three, uh, and six, one. So it could be seven or eight. Six only has uh, two ways to make it when you're talking about a straight line like this. So, And we kind of reduce our choices as we move up, so they're not quite as helpful. Uh, on this one, it's going to be the same as down here. It's a 7, 8. Can we do anything more with this information? Well, we know this. Okay, here we go. Wasn't looking at my peach parity line for a second there, so we can start determining. So the peach parity line means that they have to go odd even. So this one then, since this 9 is odd, this clearly has to be even. This would be odd. This has to be even. Uh, we can never do a 2. We can never do a 4 on one of these lines because you'd have to put one, three, you know, twice. So obviously it can't be. We already have an eight here. We know this has to be even, so this has to be a six. This has to be either uh, well, two or four would be the only other even digits open. And clearly it can't be two, so you're four. So these have to be one and three. Uh, these digits, I could, I guess, put those in. Will it do me much good? It might, because it's going to give me at least pairs, so I know what some of these other digits are. So it's 1, 5, and 2, 4 are the options. Now, we can look at this and say, where does a 9 go on this line? Well, a 9 can never go on a, a non-circle in a zipper line, because you can't add 9 with anything else to create something within normal Sudoku lines, so there can't be a 9 in any of these. We've already proved these are not 9s. <clears throat> so one of these is a 9. Now, if this was a 9, it would create a 987, but we don't quite know that yet, so let's uh, continue. Now, we can't quite do the same with the 9 that we can do with the 8, at least not yet because we don't know if this could be a 9. So then we could have an 8, 1. Well, actually, we do know that, because we can look up here. If this was a 9, and we wanted to put an 8 on this line without it being over here, it would have to go here, and that would force a 1 up here. But then this sees this. There is no 8 there, so there is no 8 here either, because 8 plus some other thing can't be 8 or less. So we get a 9, 8 pair. Let's uh, remove those notations which is going to give us a 3, 7 pair over here. Now, looking back at our little cross up here, 
If this were to be a seven, it would force this to be a one so that this could be an eight. We can't have a one there. So this is our three and seven. Now we know this has to at least be a seven. Uh, this has to at least be higher than seven. So I was trying to say. So this seven has to add to something to be higher than seven. So it's either a one or a two. Again, we can't have a one up here. So this has to be two, which is going to make this be a nine. Now, this 3 would then pair with this. Can't have a 4, so it can't be 7, so this has to be 8. This would then be 5. And what else can we do real quick looking through these just now? Uh, maybe a little bit. We know that these digits have to be the other three ways to make an 8, which are 7, 1, and 6, 2. Well, there's three ways to make an 8, so it's didn't say it properly. We already have the 5, 3, so they are of those uh, numbers. This obviously can't be a 2. This can't be a 7. If these can't be 2, these can't be 1s, or it can't be 6s, uh, excuse me, I can add. Now, if this couldn't be 7, this can't be a 1. So we either have 1, 2 to go with 6, 7, or we have the, the 1 would go with a 7 here, or the 6 or the 7 would go with the 2. Okay. Now, I don't know that we can necessarily do much with odd. Let's take a check first. Well, we know that there are, let's go back to this one, because we can do a little bit. We know that 4, 6, and 8 are taken, so this has to be a 2. Now, the remainder of these digits have to be the other odd digits, which are 1, 3, 5, 7, because the 9 is the only one we have so far. These cannot be 1 and 3, so these then can't be 5 or 7. Do we have, we know these can't be 2 as well, looking here, so these can't be 4. Uh, one, three. No, we don't have anything else looking at it, so. <clears throat> so can we do something with this one? Because there's, there's not a whole lot left we can do on it. it. We have seven, two already. It could be, it can't be, well, I guess it could be eight, one. It could be six, three. And it could be five. Four, so all the options are still kind of out there. So let's uh, move on from that one. Uh, where else? What's the next good place to look at this? This cannot be a one because it would force these to be two and... Th nope, I'm wrong. Move on. This would end up being a one. Well, I was mistaken. I thought I had this one figured, but I did not. So... Forget I said that again. Where's the next look? Uh, I don't know if we can do anything on this big boy yet. Uh, I guess we can do these two digits, since we know what all of these are. <clears throat> we have to have what's left over. There's a 4 and a 9 in this column. So this has to be a 4. So this has to be 9. Now that 4 makes this have to be a 5. So that's a little bit of something. This digit could still be a few things. It could be one and three. Obviously it can't be two, can't be four. It could be five. And could it be six? Yes, it can. Obviously it can't be seven. So that didn't do me any good. Well, this can't be three, I guess I can say, because it would force a five over here. But still, this isn't not being weeded down to where I want it to be <clears throat> just yet. Uh, we have a five, seven pair. Can I use that? We know what these four digits presumably are. They're two, six, eight, and nine. 
two can never go down here because it can't get up to a five. So one of these is the two. The other set, like I said, are six, eight, and nine. But we don't know necessarily what the other digit up here has to be. Now, if this can't be a five anymore, because if it was a five, it can't go down to four, clearly. It would have to have six and seven on it. But we know the seven's over there, so this is seven and five. Let's pop that in. That gives me our six here, which gives me our two here. This is not six. This is not two. So those are one, seven pairs. This now, it could still be six, seven. Well, it can't be six. I just put the six in there. So we know this is eight, nine. Therefore, we know that this is two and six. There we go. I'm starting to feel like maybe this is getting whittled down a little bit better. What can this digit be? Let's put these in just to see what they are. Now, it can't be 1 because it forces us to be 8. It can't be 2 because it's already there. It could be 3, which would force this to be 6. So let's put that in. It could be 4, which would force that to be 5. It can't be 5. It can't be 6. It can't be 7. It can't be 8. It's okay, so these are 3 or 4 which means this has to be five or six. Not great, but it's something to move along with. Okay, where's the next place that looks like it's gonna be our best bet? Well, we know we can't put a nine on this Ren Van. We know it has to be in one of these four places because there's no option there. It can't be, he wait, why did I say it can't be there? It absolutely could be there. No, it can't be, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm uh, fumbling again. This can't be 9 because it would be 9, 8, and there'd be nothing here. So there has to be a 9 here, which forces this to be the 8 and the 9. Now, we like you said, we know a 9's here. There's a 9 there, so that has to be the 9. This is either going to be now... Well, it has to just be 8, 7, doesn't it? Is that accurate? Might not be. We know it can't be, let's, let's run through the, the, the options. It can't be 1, 2, because we've got the 2. It can't be 2, 3, obviously. Could it be 3, 4? The answer is no, because that would force this to be a 1 and these to be 1 and 5. Uh, it can't be 4, 5, because these would both have to be 1. It can't be 5, 6. It can't be 6, 7. So yes, it does have to be 7, 8, and there's an 8 there. So this is 7 and 8. Doesn't quite see up there yet. But that's not a problem. This digit has to be from one, three, four, or five. So that's not uh, going to give us anything at the moment. Okay, we're moving. We're getting there. We're having to kind of move around a little bit to keep piecing together these things, but it's all good. We're starting to run out of possibilities over here, but uh, we can say there has to be a four here. Uh, we know there's no 4 on any of those, so just one of these is a 4, but again, not all that great. <clears throat> Still qu can't quite do anything, I, I don't really think, with these digits. Well, I know there has to be an 8-1 somewhere on this, but it could be either of these. So like I said, it's not going to give us a ton of things. I know there has to be a 6-3, no real use there, uh, and then the 5-4 is already placed. The other one was the 7-2. Uh, the 7 could be in multiple places, so we're not going to do too much on that one. So I think this is going to be more of an end-type game item to work with. Okay, if this is nine eight, is if this is nine, it would it can't be clearly, but if it was, it would force these to be eight and seven. Then you get nothing here, so this does have to be eight and nine. Now these have to have seven and six in them. This is a seven, so seven and six. Now that those are determined, does that give us much more? 
don't necessarily know that it does. This now actually cannot be one, I see, for another reason. Because if it is a one, these have to be two, three. That's one, two, three. What goes up here? Nothing. So this is not one. So this is not five. So this now cannot go up to seven on this run band. So there could be a six on here. So it could be six, five, four. Could it be five, four, three? Yes, it could. Could it be four, three, two? Yes, it does appear that it could. So All right. we might have to figure something else before we come back to this Ren band. What do we have in our rows? Well, we need a six somewhere in this row. Can't be any of these, so it's got to be one of these two. Maybe it's a little bit simpler to look at Sudoku, and it is. Okay, I didn't, I wasn't, wasn't even thinking about Sudoku at this point. I didn't know that it would actually help us, but it's going to help us because it gives us a two here. That two is then going to give us four. If that's correct, I've messed up my markations. These would have to be 1 and 5 and 3. I'm going to roll with this for a second. I could be completely wrong. And I might have messed up somewhere. Or I could have just marked something wrong because it happens sometimes. Uh, so let's continue with it and just see if it works out. 3 and 1. Uh, I can't do the 2, 6 just yet. So on this... Well, we know that's a three, so that would be a one. These digits have to be from two, three, four, and six. This can't be four. This can't be two. So it's either five, four, three, or six, five, four. So there has to be a four on here. In this instance, we could have told by that. Eh. Again, these are kind of little things that aren't coming out great. If this is a 6, this would have to be a 2, which is possible. Yes, if this is a... F well, this can't be a 4, so let's put that out of its misery. This would then have to be 4. If this is a 3, this has to be 5. So this is either... Uh, what did I say? Uh, 5 or 2. two three. Just making sure I'm seeing things right. Okay, uh, these digits, we still needed the two, why didn't that do anything? Two, five, six, and seven. That's not five. Okay. Can these be from those, those digits? Because we have to either be a seven, two, so this can never be 2. This can never be 6. So it's either 6, 3, or 7, 2, like that. Okay. I'm not seeing how it's lining up there. What about these three? Or I should probably go back to Sudoku because it had something given to me earlier, but I'm going to continue on this path just for a minute. Uh, we know there has to be a 1, a 3, and a five. This can't be three, so there has to be a three over here. The one and the five can go anywhere. In fact, we know one of these has to be a one. Okay, it doesn't look like it's doing too much either. So let's look at Sudoku again, and maybe we'll find something. Well, that one right there, clearly this must be seven and a one. So that removes 7 as an option from here, and it gives me a 7 here. So that then has to be a 2, this has to be a 5, this has to be a 6, this has to be a 3. That's got to be 6 and 2. And at the moment, things are still working, so I'm hoping it was... I just had a little bit of a typo when I was over in this area earlier. Uh, let's look back at our Sudoku, because it seems to be helping us, which is a good thing. We've got 
What else do we need with twos? Two can be in one of those. Can it be here? Let's take a quick look. If it is, this has to be six. That is possible. So we'll leave that as an option. How about our threes? Eh, there's not a whole lot doing on three. How about four? Four we had previously stayed there had to be four here. I just hadn't marked it. I don't plan on it at the moment. Okay, well, four does help because you can't have four in any of these, and we can't have a four on this line because it'd have to have a four on the other side. So this is four. And do we get anything more from that? Not really. So, and we know one of these is a four. I can mark it, but it's not super useful either. Fives. This is not a five anymore, clearly. So if this is one or six, this has to be a seven or two. I can mark it in. Sevens was what sevens was I was looking at. One of these has to be a seven. So one of these has to be a one, but this is a one here, so this can't be a one, so this has to be a one. This has to be seven. We need two six, and this can't be two, so this has to be two, this has to be six. Let's get rid of that. Okay. That's sorted out this and uh, three row three columns quite well. These digits, let's uh well let's continue with our Sudoku because it's been working. Let's uh let's keep on it. Sevens are good for now. Eights don't seem to be helpful. And then nine isn't really helpful either. So okay, so let's go back to these digits. We need a one, a three, a six, and what was my other one? Why can't I see it? Eight. Sorry, there we go. There's no one over here, so there's no eight over here. There's no six over here, so there's no three over here. One, threes, do we have six or eight looking at this? We don't, but we do have an X-wing on threes here. So we know there's no threes in any of those, but one of these has to be a three, so that didn't do a lot. Um, we can do these two digits. They have to be five and three. Again, it didn't really help too much. What about these guys? Need to put a two in there. One of these two has to be. We need to put an eight. So it's one of these two, and then we have to put a nine, which is one of those two. Again, that doesn't do anything for us. We're pretty much out of usable clues. So it's going to have to start riding a little bit on these Sudokus. Sudoku digits, just Sudoku rules, I should say. Now we already said twos, we know as much as we can. Just do a quick look back through again. Three, no. Four. Still no. Fives. Not really. Sixes. Now we have a six here. We can be able to get anything else from the six. Doesn't appear to be. About seven. Nope. Eights. Really not giving me a whole lot here. Nines as well. Well, we know this is a pair of something. I just saw it. So we know one of these had to be... What was it? I know one of them is the nine. The other one was... The seven. Because a seven couldn't be anywhere of those as well. Okay, so that's a seven nine pair. These have to be from three, four, and eight, but the eight can't go here, so this is eight. That's gonna give me six and eight. Eight. That six is gonna give me the five here. That five's gonna give me the three and the five. This has to be a six. This has to be a one. That's gotta be four. This now is three and three. Yep, we get our deet deet doot. 
Okay, so these three digits are now semi-given. They have to be from 1, 2, and 5. Not useful. Let's check these first. Well, actually, let's go down here because we have some given digits that we can cut across, and then we'll go back to our Sudoku. So this has to be 1 because of that 8, and that has to be 3. That 3 is going to give us this 3. Get rid of this one, which is actually going to become a 5. These have to be 4 and 1. So this is the 4, this is the 1. Still, maybe not anything here. Let's just put them in. We've got 2, 8, and 9. This can't be 2. This can't be 9. This can't be 8. Yeah, that didn't do it. Uh, these ones, maybe we should look up and down here in a second. Let's do this one real quick. So we still need 7, 8, and 9. This can't be 7 or 8, so it is 9, 7, 9, and 8. And that's going to give us our 9, 2, 8, and 2. This is now a given 4. This is a given 1. This is a given 5. And this is a given 7. And there we go, you solved the puzzle. So, it did turn out that I just I made some bad marks here, which is not a big deal. Didn't affect the, the solve of the puzzle. Um, fun puzzle. Really enjoyed it. Um, getting started, understanding that this one was going to start driving uh, how things got determined here was, uh, was wonderful. So, uh, great puzzle. Flash Groudon Zipper Gramophone. If you guys hadn't tried it previously, uh, Obviously, the link was in the descriptions. Uh, if you've seen this far, hopefully you've already solved it without uh, me spoiling it for you. But hope you enjoyed that one, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks.